I'm curious to what the hell twelve thousand get you like. It will show you exactly what I'm teaching you now. And if you are amazed, look at your face. I'm like, you are <laughs> amazed at the information now. Imagine if I really doubled down one on one and gave you like your exact blueprint based on what you do and say. This is how you do a challenge around podcast, and this is the information you're going to drop on them. This is how many people I expect to get in your program over the next couple of months to where now you can sit out. Mm. So that's what, if I'm telling you off of a challenge I have made close to 700000 in three weeks, and now I'm going to do a charge you 12, why wouldn't you invest that? You want some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. So wait, your, la your last name is Wilcox. Smith. S your last name is Smith. My last name is Wilcox, my marriage yeah, name yeah, is Smith. Okay, your husband, okay, okay. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know I was wondering. Right. I just say Cassandra Wilcox Smith because you might see me over here that say Cassandra Wilcox and over here is Cassandra Smith. So I just put all three together. Cassandra Wilcox, Smith. but yeah. it's Cassandra Smith definitely. How was that though? Like, um, I mean, I guess we can get started. Oh, okay, okay, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, what I'm saying. Ah, if we gonna get into it, we gonna get into that's it. That's pretty. Yeah. What I'm saying. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it. Mm -mm -mm. Let's talk about it. And it's like, what do you? Call yourself a professional crafter? A creative business coach. Creative business coach. So yes. you don't use crafting. You don't say that. No I say more. that's keywords when I'm promoting content, but it's not like when they when I define myself, I'm not a craft. I mean, I'm a crafter. That's what I started at. But right now I'm a creative business coach. Oh, you promoted yourself. Huh? You promoted yourself. Correct. I pivoted. <laughs> so you get what I'm saying? Like I pivoted. So, so a creative business coach. Yes. So no more crap. No more calling myself a crafter. Right. All right. Okay. I started out as a crafter, though. Are we recording? This is good. Did yeah, we record? we record. Are we recording? Oh, okay, okay. We want to get this thing started, though? Let's get into it, man. Yeah. Yo. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We are in the building. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get y'all the 15 minutes. I don't know how long. How long was it, Joe? Yeah, I'm going to give y'all the 10 minutes. Pause. I'm going to just let y'all have it. Like, y'all get, you know what I'm saying? But um, we officially starting the show. Uh, Cassandra is in the building. Cassandra Wilcox Smith is in the building. She got a special story for us. She's going to tell us, right? She's going to tell us. She she started off thugging in a hotel, you know what I'm saying? Crafting things and stuff like that. I think she uh she got the idea. I'm going to let you tell your own story, but okay. she got the idea because she couldn't afford getting a shirt or something like a hoodie yeah. made for our kids or something like that. So she wow. like, bro, I'm just doing it myself. You feel me? Started in a hotel. She made $1,000. She quit a job. That makes no sense to me. I'm going to ask her. <laughs> she's here. I'm going to ask her. She said she's working for corporate and she'd be making like a thousand, wasn't even making a thousand a month. I don't understand that. I don't understand it. But Miss Cassandra's in the building. What up, man? How you doing? What's up, Jay? How are you doing? I'm blessed, man. I can't complain. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to have you. So let's get straight to it, man. Okay. You are, uh, um, you got to say it again. A creative, creative business, business coach. coach. Yes. What the hell is that? <laughs> so it's basically where I teach creatives and crafters how to turn their skill into a subscription-based program where people are paying them monthly to learn what it is that they do. Great. That's smart. But why? Why is that important? Because that's what happened to me, and I was able to take my business from zero to 100 real quick. So I'm like, people got to know about this. Mm. <laughs> what what I'm curious because when you say real quick, I think um what you been doing is like three years now? Um, I started in 2019. 19? Yeah. So like five years. Yeah. Okay. 
when, when did you start doing the um, subscription stuff? 2020. 2020. So from 2019 to 2020, a year. It wasn't even a year. I want to say I quit my job around November. Mm -hmm. And then in 2020 of uh, May. So about, that's probably about six What made months. you go the sub subscription route? So fast, though. What made me go from just B to C to B to B, I was selling T-shirts. Uh, did that $1,000. Uh -huh. But then the T-shirt slowed down. Nobody was buying it. So I'm like, I got to go B to B. I got to start selling to other crafters. I got to teach to other crafters like me. So I went from selling T-shirts to consumers. Now I'm teaching businesses how to make their own T-shirts. I'm teaching them how to make other different things. And they want to know, okay... What else besides T-shirts can I make? Okay, I can show you how to design. Mm. I can show you how to set up your website. I can show you how to set up your LLC. But I can't do that with a one-time fee. Let me put it in a membership so every month y'all are learning how to grow your business. And they continue to pay. As long as I kept learning, I brought something back to teach them, and they continue to pay this every month. All right, so I'm thinking, so tie this in with me, because I'm thinking, like, I do podcasts. I'm in entertainment, right? Okay. So most podcasters and entertainers, we need YouTube. We need free content mm -hmm. because we're trying to grow that's okay. how we look at it most people right okay. i just got into the subscription-based content because i understand the importance and in in, when it comes to longevity right and building a uh just like a, a following uh community, a, a community yes. right exactly i understand the importance now but again i still have this creative part of me like we need youtube we need all these we need instagram because virality right, right. if i can if i can get on there and go viral then I can have a bigger audience. Then I can charge Definitely. more. Definitely. Then I can do bigger things, right? However, the subscription-based content is really the way to go. So what I'm asking is, as a business owner, how can we correlate that to creative too? Just curious. Can or can you? Because like you, you will want to go viral, right? You still got to make free videos and do oh, free definitely. stuff. Definitely. That's how you build a community. So you still got to promote on social media. Like just because you got a subscription based model, like you still have to promote it, whether it's through ads, emails, SMS, organic content, it still got to be promoted to get people inside of that community to even pay that a month. Mm. So you don't get rid of, you know, marketing. You still got to market to get the people over. But I like to market free classes because if people see, oh my God, she's giving that much free value. I wonder what that paid information like. How do you differentiate what's free and what's not free? So normally what we do is, instead of me teaching them how to make a t-shirt, right? Mm -hmm. I teach them how to sell a t-shirt, how to market a t-shirt, what supplies they need for t-shirts, just like the whole basics of everything they need to know. And once they got all of that, they're going to ask me, how do I make it? That don't sound basic, though. That is? The the what? Why? The... the, the the supplies you need, you said? It's valuable, but it's something they can Google. So I'm like their Google. I'm going to give it to you for free. I'm going to tell you what vendors I use. I'm going to tell you what's the best products, what's the best time and time when you're heat pressing. And when you learn all of that, you're going to be like, that was so much free value. Now I want to learn how to make the T-shirt. That's when you're going to pay to join the subscription because I just gave you so much free game that you like, wait a minute. Mm. I got to see what's inside of her membership. Yo, so let's go back real quick. And we're going to get into your story, but I'm just, now I'm learning myself. <laughs> so, but when you first was calling yourself a crafter, right. right? What was interesting to me is, it's like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, she just makes shirts. I'm thinking like crafting is like, I don't know, like making all type of designs and like toys and like, I don't know. It is. But like, you're talking about vinyl and I'm like, bro, that's just making a shirt. But why do you? Call it crafting. I'm just curious. I started off making t-shirts, but as a crafter, we creative. We want to come out with the next thing that's popping. So now we're making tumblers, we're making pillows, we're making coffee mugs, we're making rugs, we're making curtains, bed spreads. Like crafting is so broad. Like we can make banners, we can make floor wraps, decals. Like we wrapping caskets. Like literally, crafting goes way above than just making t-shirts. So when, when somebody be like, "Oh, you a crafter? You make t-shirts?" No. I'm like literally changing the world over here because <laughs> oh. it's more than just T-shirts and it's more than just vinyl. So you're probably talking about using like cricket, silhouette, vinyl. But then what I normally do, I do what we call sublimation. That's where you take in special ink, special paper. You run it through a printer. Once it prints out, you use a heat source. And it, when you press it onto polyester fabric, the image goes directly into the shirt. Direct vinyl is more like... Yeah. I wouldn't say direct to garment. It's more like, I mean, you can. Like a heat press? It's more like screen printing, like but you're not doing print. it with all the different types of paint. You usually just print out the design using the special ink, special paper. 
when you when you press with the heat press, the image sinks inside of your shirt. Wow. But you can only use it on polyester fabric. So you can't use it like on cotton. So, you know, you can use white polyester, whatever the color shirt, as long as it's polyester fabric, it's going to work. All right. So let me not be selfish because I know some information. Let's start over real quick. Okay. I know you're going to tell us a lot, but for, for the sake of uh, the people that's watching, what made you get into crafting at first? So um, I tell the story all the time. So my kids had a basketball game. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time, I was working from job to job. or didn't really have the money, so robbing Peter to pay Paul. But I still wanted to put my kids in some activity to keep they keep them going. The coach came out with these hoodies, like, everybody need these hoodies. We're going to go on a away game. We want everybody matching in sync. I couldn't afford it. So my brother was like, well, we're going to find a crafter. I didn't even know about crafting. I'm like, what is a crafter? We're going to find a crafter. She's going to make the hoodies for you, and y'all going to wear those. We get the hoodies. We wear them to the game, and the coach like, yo, we don't even want those hoodies that we have. We want the ones y'all wearing. So can y'all make hoodies for the whole team? Mm. I'm like, wait. So people really do custom made, you know, hoodie shirts. Yeah. So I reached back out to the craft and she was like, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You got to go to YouTube. Yeah. Like, uh-uh. I'll take that order, but I'm not going to show you how to do it. So I'm like, wait, YouTube, I go. Because right. if she's gatekeeping that much, it's money in this gotta business. Be. It got to be money in this right. business. And that's exactly what I did. I went to YouTube. And did you do the order or you? I didn't do the order. It took me a whole year to learn. Like, yeah. that's what made me mad. That's what I talk about to this day. When you can just get up under somebody that's already where you want to be, you get there a lot faster. But I had a, it took me a whole year to master I was, it. It's funny. You said, I was just talking to my, uh, my guy. Shout out to the pro creatives in the building. I was saying, like, sometimes it's funny because I don't really do the mentorship. I don't do, I don't do none of that, right? Wow. But I do. Okay. It's, it's, like, I don't. But you do. But I do, right? Yeah. So, like, with my team. Like, that's really it. Like, with my team. Okay. So, um, and I was saying, like, bro, like, the benefit, and I hate, I hate saying this like this because I just, I don't know, I'm not that vain. Yeah. But like the benefit of working with somebody like me is like you want to skip steps. You, There's a lot of things that I learned that I had to, like what I was telling you, like there's a lot of mistakes that had yes. to be made for me to get to this point. We're talking about cameras and extra lighting and extra, yep. like, I had to not have that to mess up to be in some real effed up predicaments right. to learn that I need an extra source of video or extra source of audio, right? And I'm like, when you work with people like that, you skip steps and that's yep. great. Right, but nah. So, I'm curious because she, did she offer to sell you the vendor? Because usually I've heard that, like coming to Atlanta, I've heard people say I'll sell you my vendor. She didn't know. She didn't do anything. But what I, I I've never told anybody this. But anytime I've talked with her, like if she made previous orders, I'd be like, oh my god. She'll say, hey, we ran out of shirts here, so I'm finna go to JDS to get more. So I'm writing down what she texted me, like, Smart. oh, she go to JDS. Then she'll say. I'm finna go to um, Coastal Business and get more of this. Oh, she go to Coastal. So I'm taking like notes myself while she's telling me what she's doing for me. Mm -hmm. So when I came and asked her, she was like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that for you. I already got enough information to go ahead and take off. Mm. And then all I got to do is just go to YouTube and actually watch the how. Because now that I, I got the supplies, I know where to go get everything. So Wow. Okay. So, all right. Somebody, I'm, I'm doing some merch, right? Okay. Selling shirts. Somebody asked me like, yo, where you get your shirts from? And I... And we like close. I went to the same fraternity, right? Okay. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, bro, why would I tell you? Because we got the same, the same audience. Like the same people gonna buy my shirts, gonna buy your shirts. And and the reason I, I, my price point is so high is because because of, of the quality of my shirt. So if I give you my vendor, right, then you are gonna use the same exact quality. You might sell it for cheaper, whatever it can be. I ended up giving it to him. I'm curious. In that case. Why give it? Because you're giving vendors away for free. Right. Why not just charge them? You sound like my student. Like, mm. just because they doing what you're doing, they not doing it like you. At the end of the day, people don't buy products because of the products. A good shirt. Oh, it looks fine. They buying it because of you. You branded yourself. You so made something y'all can sell that shirt, the same shirt at a worse, at a different quality, same price. That's The strange. same bag I get at Chanel, I can go to the discount mall and get it. But I'm going to go Chanel and pay 10 k Chanel has branded they so. <laughs> Chanel has made you feel like this is quality. I don't care how much it costs. But the discount mall done got it for cheap and selling for 30. I don't want that. I'd rather go spend all this money and buy a Chanel bag. I would so, feel bad doing that. Like, really? I want you to have good quality. Like, that's my, like, it that's why I sell it for quality. what I'm selling for. It still got to be good quality. But if you giving him your vendor, I'm saying it shouldn't matter yeah. that he's doing what you're doing because he's not you. Mm. So you got to figure out how to brand yourself different to make people want to buy your products because of you, not because of the actual product. Mm. Okay. I ended up giving them the, the vendor anyway, but you feel me? But it's funny because I seen somebody else, she had hair. 
And yeah. like she started, everybody loved the quality. So she was selling her vendor. Right. And I thought that was genius, but I never seen that before. Mm. So that's why when somebody asked, that was before somebody asked me. So I'm like, I mean, I could just sell it to you. You can sell it too. So you can do it to where I'm going to give it to the first 10 people for free. Get those reviews coming in. I'm testimonials like, yo, I tried his vendor. It really works. I was able to start my business. Now that you got social proof, okay, my vendor is now $200. It's mm. $300. But whoever you gave it to for free, like, yo, I'm going to give it to you for free, but it's got to be value for value. Give me a testimonial on what this vendor did for your life. And mm. I'm going to use that now to run ads, run emails. That's fire. So, but you give away vendors for free. Right. Why? I get testimonials in return. Anything I do for free, I get a testimonial to run it towards something paid. Oh, you smart. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> oh, you're a little smart. Though. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, what made you? What made you say yo? Because somebody withheld the information from you. Right. What made you even think about it in that approach, though? Because I said I never want anybody to feel how I felt. If I could have just taught somebody the game, whether it was free, whether it was paid, it would not take them a year to get to where they got to go. And the longer they take, especially if I'm teaching them, the longer it's going to take for me to get that testimonial. Like, So I need you to learn up under me this fast so you can go spread the word. That word going to spread. That word going to... Now I'm getting money. I'm getting sales by default. So I tell people all the time, when you give value up front for free, the sales going to come. You don't always have to lead with pay me, pay me, pay me. Mm. Give that value and it's going to come regardless. And that's what it's, that's what it's been doing. So, uh, so, okay, it took for you one year to understand I need to go from B to C to B to B. Well, no. So it took me a year to just learn the craft game. Then it mm -hmm. took me another year to learn how to do what we call sublimation. Because at first I started off just doing vinyl. Like I said, that's the one you can peel off. Mm -hmm. But then in 2019, people were like, I don't want vinyl shirts. Yeah. I want shirts with my faces on. I got to go to a funeral. Can you put my brother's face on his shirt? I want his face on a pillow, a tumbler. I'm like, wait, what is that? That's not vinyl. That's called sublimation. So now I'm doing my research. So now I'm like, okay, let me go into sublimation. Did sublimation, it took off. Because everybody wanted. They want shirts. They want faces with the shirts on there. Mm -hmm. So I was able to. I wasn't able to, but I, I just got so caught up in like, yo, I just made $1,000 in a week. I'm going to quit because I want to yeah. go home. I want to make shirts. I want to do this full time. Not even knowing, like, people don't buy shirts every day. Right. Like, it's seasons for. It's. Yeah. I mean, for everything. Seasons. Even I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. December come around, you're going to be hurt. <laughs> you're like, where are you yet? He went there family. I'm like, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for you, it's probably lit in December. Yeah, like, it's lit. Okay. All right, all right. So hold up. But, because you told me it took a year to go from like starting to doing um To mastering. Well, no. It's, it took a year to learn how to just, what I need for the craft business, how to master making t-shirts. And then another year to And then another year to, to, no, another year to go from making t-shirts this way to now making t-shirts this way. So I went from vinyl to now I'm doing sublimation. That's two years now. That's two years. So when did you say, yo, I need to go subscription base? When I quit my job, I'm at the house like, why is nobody buying t-shirts? Like I said, it's seasonal. I quit making $1,000 a week, but now I'm barely making $20. So what can I do? So I'm sitting on inventory still, even though they're not buying my custom t-shirts. I'm like, let me sell this inventory to other crafters like me. So like how you just said, okay. I'm going to get my vendors away. I'm going to do this. So now I'm crossing over to B2B. But before I start just trying to sell to anybody, I need a community. I created my first Facebook group. I reached out to a, other, a few other Facebook groups like, yo, shout me out because y'all got the audience that I need to sell this to. Right. They shouted me out. Now I'm in the group going live because I'm thinking everybody that's buying my inventory is supposed to know how to make it. Like, why would you buy tumblers and shirts and you don't know how to press them? What yeah, are you doing? No man. They didn't. They wanted to learn. It's like, look, we're going to shop with you because we came to support, but just show us how to do it. So I'm going live for free, just showing them how to use my products in order to buy the inventory. But then my community, it's very important, they like, well, coach, since you're selling the inventory, why don't you sell us the other products and supplies that we need to make it? So now they want sublimation paper. They want sublimation ink. At this time, I'm sending them to other people because it's like, I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane. Yeah. I'm only going to sell this inventory. My homegirl got this. My homeboy got that. But if your community constantly asking you for, I want your products, put your brand on it. So I came out with my own sublimation paper, sublimation ink. Then my community asked, well, thank you for the free classes, but if you're giving us this for free, do you have anything paid? Like, they want me yeah, they to push. Pay. Yeah, yeah. They want something paid because they like, this is valuable. But if you do something paid, I can imagine what you're going to do. So mm -hmm. listen to my community again. Now I'm starting paid subscription programs where 
I'm giving value every month, but it gets to a time where I only know so much. So now I'm reaching back into my community. Who know how to design in Canva and Photoshop? Okay, let me make you a coach in my program. Who know how to set up Shopify websites and LLCs? Because I'm not trying to do everything, but now I'm going to collaborate with people that's already up under me. Let me bring you up. I'm going to pay you to teach every week. So now I got this subscription-based program where I barely have to go live because now my coaches do everything. Mm. Yo, it's crazy. Yo, didn't I just say, I'm like, yo, this is going to be good. I was watching, a, I thought I was watching something and I turned it off and he's like, you ready? Oh man, it's about to be good. Literally, I ain't even finished. In my life, I'm like, it's about to be good. Yo, so hold up. My mind is blown away. Wait, before I go on, at what point did you know, because I seen somewhere you were talking about like, it, like crafting being a niche in itself. At what point did you understand how much that you hit the, the jackpot of like having a niche and that niching down is important? Um, I would say when I grew that community, because most of the time entrepreneurs want to sell what we want to sell. We yeah. want to make, we want services that we want to service for. Yeah. But when you get a community, that's just like your people telling you, no, this is what I want. You don't even got to do research because your community going to give you whatever you need. So just by them telling me, this is what I want to learn. These are the products I need. Can you provide it to us? So that's when I knew like, wait, so many people want to learn how to make t-shirts. So many people you know, need the products, don't know where to go. Like, you would think, like, if you come to my community, you're supposed to already know this stuff. They are complete newbies. Like, look, I just found you on the gram. I'm coming to your program. Show us from A to Z what to do. So it's like, people really paying this kind of money for crafts? Like, yeah. it blew my mind. So when 2020 came, during COVID, like, so many people was getting laid off on their jobs. So they like, yo... Can you help us start a t-shirt business from home where we can still supplement our income? And that's when our business literally, like, mm. everybody wanted to start at home businesses. They asking, what type of heat presses I need? What type of printers do I need? What type of supplies and weeding tools? Like, they want to know everything. And that's when I knew, like, oh, this is jackpot. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, because a lot of businesses got rich during COVID, right? Yeah. How are we getting the business... How are we getting the business now? Like, how am I, if I buy the heat press machine, I buy the shirts, whatever. How am I getting business now? I'm showing them how to market. You got to promote on social media. That's something you can't get away from. Once you're making money from social media, you got to invest into paid advertisement, invest into email marketing. I tell my students all the time, like, just because you're getting a lot of followers, them ain't your followers. Them Instagram followers. Yeah. Figure out a way to get them off of Instagram to your email list, whether you're giving out a free lead magnet, something to just get them to say, you know what, let me get her my email. And then when you get that email, now you need to nurture them throughout the week. A lot of my students in the beginning just like, Sell, sell, sell. Buy my T-shirt. Buy my Tumblr. But if you can just get them on your email list and tell them why should they buy your T-shirts. Hey, don't you got a family reunion coming up? Don't you got a party um that you got to attend? Don't you got a graduation coming up? Like, educate them on why they need your product in that email because you don't took them off of social media. And they're going to buy because it's like she's not always trying to sell something. She's literally showing us why we need the product, when we need it. Because if you... Messaging them in Christmas time talking about grad shirts. I don't need it right now. Right. But if you messaging them around April, that's in demand. I need graduation shirts. Yeah. Target parents, target um kids that's in the twelfth grade. Like talk to them to get. You said you did that. You had unfollow all your friends or something like that. I did. Like, oh my hey, god. Yeah, what? I did. Like I did when I was making custom items. I did unfollow everybody on my friends list and started following. Like, you know, parents that had kids, because I'm like, I'm finna start making party favors. I'm finna start making banners, anything dealing with children. And I know a mother gonna buy whatever for her child. I promise. Yo, that's you. genius. <laughs> I probably would just post. You know how to, like, I don't know, it's probably ignorant. But you know what I mean? You know how people be outside of uh, Home Depot? Yeah. I yeah. say what people, but you know how people be outside of Home Depot. Right. <laughs> Lining up to, to uh, I was just thinking, I'm sorry. But you know they be trying to work, right? Right. That would be me at uh, part, Party City. I would just be standing at Party City like, look, I know you got a party coming up. Like, I could do your shirt. Hey, like, get them custom made. Don't what? go in here and buy. <laughs> Listen, what? I'm, I'm outside of Party City. Like, pick no. me up in the truck. Like, let me, I give you a free shirt. Let me show you the quality. What? Man, I'm a hustler. Really? I'm outside of everything. I'm outside of uh, Party City. Party, uh, party City. What else, man? But you don't have to do that now because social media be like, taking yeah. over. Like, you, you don't have to do all that manual labor, putting cars on, uh, putting notes on cars. Like, social media make it so easy for you to find your customer and get them to buy. Mm. So why even do all that standing in front of Party City? No, you're right. Because if you make a fire design, right? I'm thinking about it. And you put, like, an ad behind it. Yeah. And Instagram, bro, 
I'm about to throw my phone away. Because, like, I, I can almost guarantee after this interview, I'm going to go on Instagram, I'll see somebody else crapping, like, yo, like, they be listening. <laughs> they listen to they you. They listen, bro. They like, do. They do. Yo, that's crazy. Be okay. like, what? So, so you, got a whole, you, got, you got a whole community now. Yes. It's so many questions now. <laughs> when, what, are some of the, what are some of the questions that you get the most from, like, novice? Like, people that just came in and just want to start making money today. They want to know the what, why, when. So... If I'm going live showing them how to make a t-shirt, they coming in saying, oh my gosh, where, did I, where do I buy the t-shirts from? Where do I get the inventory from? What supplies do I need? How do I market? Like, how do I start? So now I teach y'all that up front and then I sell them the how. Because I already know you're going to ask about it. So instead of me just going live saying, this is how you make a t-shirt, I'm going to go live and tell you what supplies you need. I'm going to yeah. go live and tell you how you should market. I'm going to go live and tell you who you should sell to, who your customers are. I'm going to go live, like all of those things. And then your your next question after I give you the game is, I'm ready to learn the how. Okay, join my subscription program. Yo, how long have we been doing recording? 32 minutes. They listen this far. They deserve something. So, all right, wait, 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 wait. How much is the subscription? Uh, when it opens. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have an evergreen. This is like an open and shut every three months. Oh, you popping, popping. Yeah. <sighs> wait, hold up. Before we, before, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How you get so much money that you can be like, nah, you can't just Through pay me any challenges. Time. That's what I want to tell you about. Challenges. Have you ever heard of a challenge? Yeah. You but that's crazy, bro. That's how the, you get them. The, I, I can't see right now. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But the fact that you could be like, nah, I'm not I don't open. want the money right. I promise you. <laughs> That's when, I, crazy. when it happened and I've done challenges, this is my seventh one coming up. It blew my mind how I was able to just work hard and grind for that first month and be able to sit out for the next two months until my next challenge starts. So I can go on vacation with my family. I can spend more time with my kids, all of that good stuff. And I'm still making this recurring revenue on a subscription based model just from getting the people through my challenge. Like it's that's why I got to tell the people. Nobody knows about it. Okay, this. you want to tell me about it? I but, am. But, but, but hold on, hold on. Okay. How much it costs? When it opens? Yeah, when it opens. Um, so I have a few subscription programs. What's the highest one? $12,000. 12000 Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Yes, but wait, it's for 90 days. It's oh. for 90 days. I don't even feel comfortable. I got <laughs> But oh. let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, people don't come in at that level wanting to learn that twelve thousand dollar information. They might come in as a newbie. I just want to learn the basics. Where do I get started? So I have a one seventy nine a month program. Okay. Then I have a one ninety nine a month program. Then I have a three forty nine a month program. So I really prefer people to go through those programs first to understand. Then you can say, okay, I've made enough money. I've got my return back on my investment. Now what you have for me. So I'm not always pushing this top level because people ain't ready for that. What I push is I have a 179 program that opens up in three months. Then mm. you can join. I'm curious to what the hell 12000 get you. Like? It will show you exactly what I'm teaching you now. And if you are amazed, look at your face. <laughs> like, you shit. are amazed at the information now. Imagine if I really doubled down one-on-one -on -one and gave you like your exact blueprint based on what you do and say, this is how you do a challenge around podcast, and this is the information you're gonna drop on them. This is how many people I expect to get in your program over the next couple of months to where now you can sit out. Mm. So that's what if I'm telling you off of a challenge I have made close to seven hundred thousand in three weeks, and all I'm gonna do is charge you twelve. Why wouldn't you invest that? You want some bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't you invest? Why wouldn't you invest that? That's why I say it's good to get up on the people. Like, what that girl did to me, she gave me power to go out there and learn how to master these skills. So now anybody else that get up on my mentorship, I'm going to shorten your time. It's not going to take you a year to learn this process. If you give me this money or whatever you pay, you're going to learn this in 90 days. Listen, I'm black. I work hard for my money, man. I don't trust it. How, <laughs> tell me, what's the, what's the, give me the, some numbers. How many people actually succeed that pay 179, 199, 349, 12,000? Give me the, uh, the, the. I don't know the the, the percentage of pe that's people that's successful. I'm going to say this. So we've been running this program for the once. We've been running the, the low three programs for two years. We have had a minimum of a thousand people stay in two programs every year. They don't drop out. We'll go up from 1,800, 1,300, but we always keep a solid thousand per program for the 179 and 199 every year. So you tell me, do the math. 
<laughs> you tell me what is God. the success rate. Ain't nobody going to keep paying a month if they not learning that thing. Hell like you no. said, that's, I, I, got, that's I my money. I don't even want to pay $9.99 for proms. Exactly. <laughs> so the numbers speak for itself. Damn. Yeah, and I that's why I want to... This $12,000 program is teaching how I'm able to keep people in a, a program so long. Like, how is my retention rate? Why, how are you able to keep doing this? And people are not leaving. Like, Yo, you need to learn that. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I've been in Atlanta for three years. I didn't see, you know, like the entrepreneurs that's really been killing it. Like, you know, we know. We all know who Circle Great. All, we know. We know. Yeah. But, I mean, they lit. We know that. Right. I never heard of you. Right. And you going crazy? I, I believe it. It's like, <laughs> God damn. Because, like, I got a thing for, like, because it's, people need to know, like, yeah, like, it's people that's popular. Right. And, and, and doing that thing. But it's a whole nother realm of whole people. A whole nother industry. When I found out about crafters, I'm like, where are these crafters come from? Like, I'm telling you, it amazed me. The same way it is amazing you, like, that many people making t-shirts, that many people making Custom tumblers and banners. Who would care to make a teach? It's a whole world of crafters out there. That's we deep, ain't that right? Deep, deep. deep. Oh damn, you got. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you my community, so my Facebook group that I started in 2019, now I have over a hundred thousand crafters in there. Literally, so I when I grew my free community, I pulled people from that to join my paid community. So me giving that free value in the free community. People are waiting, like, when your program open. But I'm already building them in this free community. Like, keep joining my free. Keep getting here, getting value. So when I open up, I don't have to really go search elsewhere. I can just pull from my free community. Mm. I got a paid program. So you tell me I need to do this. Definitely. Because so I'm, think, I'm thinking, okay, you just teaching people how to do shirts. But now I understand no. why you promoted yourself. Because yeah. it's more than that. Yeah. You're teaching people how to have a podcast community, how to have a, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to crowd. Like, whatever skill you have, you can build a community around that of those people that want to learn specifically that. And then from that community giving value, like how you just sat here and told me the equipment I need, why I need lighting, I would have been willing to invest. What's your pay program? Because if you're giving that information for free, I know you're dropping some real gems in a mentorship somewhere. But the fact that you say you don't even have one, I'm like, what? Yeah, I don't have one. What are you wait? I don't want to interview you, but what are you waiting on? <laughs> Ain't no excuse. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I guess I didn't get... My mind hasn't unlocked that that part of the business yet. Like, my mind literally just unlocked merch. You so knowledgeable. Not even around merch. Like, just what we talked about. And then you're living proof. You're doing podcasting. There are people that's gonna come on your show that's like, how did you do this setup? How did you know what was the right equipment? You just told me you went through a few cameras before you found the right one. Mm. That's information we're not gonna learn on YouTube. We're gonna have to waste money, go through time, trial and error to find out the right camera. But since you know, just get me in your program and take me direct to the source. Mm. People are willing to pay for that. Facts. That's so, cool. I'm sorry. This, you just you you just. <laughs> took me all off course. Joe, can we turn that light off? Like she just, like you just. I'm now. I'm thinking about. Oh, she make sure I shit perfect. This one. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm tripping. Okay. All right. So. Damn. It makes so much sense. It I like. I, it, it's, it's no real question for it because it's like why? Why do you think people take so long to get there? Yeah. What like what 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 what. what because they don't have the mentorship. They don't have the training. But most of all, they don't have people that's willing to give information, like you said. No, that one, Joe. That one. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I'm sorry. People be gatekeeping. Like you said, why would I give my vendor and we sell it to the same audience? So imagine people that want to get to your level, but you gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. So we don't have enough people out here that's willing to give out free value without even worrying about you going to step on my toes because I'm good. So let me tell you how to get to where I'm at. And I ain't... So that's why people's taking so long to get to where they are, because we don't have enough people willing to share this information. But not even that. What's taking us so long to understand I need to do classes, courses, or uh Limiting classes? Limiting beliefs. It's, it's all in our mindset. We feel like, because uh, before I got to the point where I want to charge 12 I thought people would never pay that. Who got that kind of money? But then when you see people paying 12 it's like, oh, I can charge 20 now. Right. I can charge 30 now. Like It's people out there that really would buy your offer, but they don't even know you got the offers because you're not pushing it. You're so busy pushing everything else that you want to push. But if you had a community, they would tell you exactly what I want to learn. My community tells me what they want to learn. So I'm able to come up with their next offer. All right. I told you we wasn't going to do just do business, man. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm going to get back to it. <laughs> quick, quick intermission. How do your husband feel about this? He loves it. Why? Because, um, 
how can I say this? My husband come from a different background. We already know. We ain't got to get into it. Mm -hmm. So when I started tapping into my gift, making this kind of money, I went and got him and said, you don't have to do that anymore. Oh, I'm going to show you a different lifestyle. I know he loves it. <laughs> Because he probably wanted to. Because niggas don't never want he to do did. that. Like, he was like, yo, like you don't know how you just changed my life because that's all I knew. Like, yeah. He didn't graduate either. So he come from a harsh background. So to see somebody like me that's willing to, hey, come in the rooms I'm coming in. Now he has a whole different mindset. What type of business he want to start now. So I'm trying to help him come up with his skills so he can start his own subscription-based program. You know, I ask that because usually men, like we have this workaholic way about us, right? And yeah. the fact that you're like, yo, I could do this for three weeks, I'll make this, and then I'm chilling. Yeah. And I'm just thinking as a man, like, in my mind, I'm like, you can't chill, right? Yeah. Like, you can't chill. Like, yeah. I don't even know no other way. Yeah. So that's why I was wondering, like, I wonder, is he, like, being able to relax too, or? He is now, still, like, like be? he came from that hustler mentality, but when he seen that it was working for me, and not just, like, temporarily, but no, this. It's going on years, and she's still doing this kind of money plus more. Like, okay, what can I do to support you? What can I do to help you? So I'm like, I want to start a family. I already have a family, but I want to start over because when I had my kids back when I was 18, I had two kids before 18, I couldn't provide them the lifestyle that I could provide now. So my goal for him was when we get back together, I want you to give me a family. And Wait, when we get back together, what you mean? Oh, I didn't tell you. So we got married in 05. Uh-huh. And then we divorced in 2017 because he had that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But then I came back and got him in 2021. I came back and got him. I did. Because I'm like, look, I want my I want my husband back. Like, I'm tapping into all this money. Everybody I'm meeting is after what I got. I don't trust nobody. But you've been with me when I have nothing. When I barely, I was sleeping in the car, like, literally. So you deserve to have me at my best because you were with me in my words. So let me come back, show you this lifestyle, see what you want to do. And he been stuck ever since. <laughs> shit. Okay. God damn. This shit. It's get, <laughs> like the the crafting part is cool. It's dope. <laughs> but it just keep getting better. Okay. As a woman though, right? Like how was it managing a relationship being a breadwinner though? I've always been around that. My mom, my aunts. I don't know. I think it's just like a generational thing. Like I've never seen in our household where a man made more money than any of my mom or my aunts. Like, they always been the breadwinner. Yeah, definitely. Where like, you from? I'm from McCray, Georgia. I'm trying to figure out, like, where are you at? It's the... <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, for real? Yeah, like, like yeah. we from a small country town, so it ain't really a lot of jobs down there, but you know what says women, yeah. we're going to make a way out of nowhere. So, yeah, from where I come from, most women is doing more than the men, so... You know, you might got house dads. They the one that's cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. And then the woman is the one that's, it's 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 not your traditional relationship. So it's like, yo, we're going to do what works. We're not going to do what everybody else is so doing. So it never bothers you. Mm -mm. Hold up. Even with the introduction of Instagram. What? What about it? It never bothers you. Because, you know, Instagram came around and then everybody is just... Is 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 it's no 50-50. Man is doing everything. I stay at home. I don't do nothing. I'm not our situation, like I don't compare my situation to social media because we already know that's a flip. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it like even with the Instagram girls, the BBL, I don't worry about that. I look at my relationship sometimes like business. Mm. People shop my products because of me. When it comes to my relationship, my man gonna be with me because of me. No matter what else somebody else is offering. Ain't nobody is another me. So that's what I don't worry about ever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I know what I offer. <laughs> I know what I bring to the table. You ain't going to find nobody else out there doing it like me. I promise you. But no, I'm saying vice versa. Right now, I, we see women on Instagram like, man, my man pay for everything. He do this, he do mm. that. You never was like tempted to like, I want that. I wish a nigga paid to care of me. No, because I feel like when when men take care of you, they, they kind of control you. So it's kind of like, oh, wait a minute. Now he want to know where I'm at, what I'm doing. I don't feel like it's that way with women. If women is doing for men, it's just like, look, respect me, be there for me, support me mentally, emotionally. I ain't finna care about what you got going on. As long as you come to the house at a decent time, like, we not on you. But men, just from experience, if they taking care of you, they want to know what, when, why, how, where, who, all of that. Oh, what are you spending this on? What are you, like, yeah. I've never been in this situation, but I've heard really? people. What? Really what? Just like for a woman, a woman doing... You saying you never been in that situation to where a woman, you always doing for the woman? Oh, yeah, for sure. 
Oh. But I think that's me. I think I got a disorder. I need to go back to therapy. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got problems. I don't know. Like, it's the Superman complex. I need to get rid of that uh, shit. Like, well, hey, at least you know. <laughs> no, we need to do some action now. Like, knowing it's the, it's the beginning. Like, we need some action behind it. But anyway. Yeah. I, I was saying, like, usually I hear people say, woman, not people, say, um, like, men get intimidated if a woman is, like, the bread woman, winner. And they start uh, lashing out just... Uh, I don't know the exact word, but um, projecting, mm. right? Like, so now they're mean or they're acting away because they want to be in a position that their woman is in. And I went through that. I went through that a few times before I went back and got my husband because I'm like, I never went through that with him. Okay. So it's got like, it. before I went back and got him, when we got the boys, I did try to date. But trying to date in a position I'm in, men looking like, wait. Oh, you did a hundred thousand dollar lunch in an hour. I didn't do it. That ain't my money. So, mm. and it felt like I couldn't even share my wins with this person because I'm gonna feel like, oh, I'm a, I'm gonna lower him or make him feel lower or make him feel less of a man. So it got to the point where I was holding in my wins, and I can only talk about it in these rooms that I'm getting in. But when I go home, I can't even mention how my day has been good or what happened today because he wasn't doing it. Mm. And that's when I knew, like, no, I'm not gonna dumb myself down. Let me go back and get my man. Because mm. he don't mind me sharing my wins. He's going to be like, oh, okay. What are we going to do to get like get to the next bag? It's it's never been like that. So I went back and got my bag. Yeah, you said um, something that was interesting. As long as you be there to support me. Um, mentally, mentally, emotionally. Emotionally. How does a man support, not even just a woman that's, doing, that's super successful, but just a woman in general, emotionally, when we think so logically? How, how do we show up for you emotionally? Like, I like to talk a lot. I like to vent a lot. I go through a lot of stuff in business. So he listens to me. He tells me what I should do. Like, especially with me going through. So in the crafting industry, there's no other crafter that I know of doing this at this level. So I started losing friends. I believe friends. you, because there ain't no other crafters that I think I know in general. Doing <laughs> <laughs> shit. No, shit. Okay, my bad. But. Right. So I'm losing friends. I'm like going through therapy. It's just so much. And he just always been there like I can cry on him. He'll be like, yo, don't worry. Like just being that shoulder to lean on because it's hard out here for some. Like you, you know, like in this industry as an entrepreneur, when you get to a certain level, you can't confide in everybody because everybody's going to start feeling like you bragging. Or, oh, my gosh. She always talking about her wins, but with him, it wasn't nothing like that. So just giving me that shoulder to lean on is just, you know, like even when I meet people, he has more of a um, discernment eye than me. I'm mm. friendly. Like, hey. He'd be like, oh, watch that one. Mm. So he sees stuff that I don't see in the background because I'm just so used to networking and mingling. But he'll be like, watch that one. And everybody he tell me to watch, literally, whether it's a month, a year later, they do something to be like, how did I not catch that? <laughs> this shit about to be two hours. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. We're going to get back to the craft, and I promise in the okay. business code, everything. We can't just skip through that. How did that start, though? Because if you're friendly, right, and you yeah. got discernment, uh, right, you're just, we have a, because I'm friendly, we have a tendency of seeing everybody how we are. Right. Right, so I'm not assuming that you're going to be petty or whatever the case mm. may be, right? I'm not assuming that. Right. So if somebody comes to me and be like, yo, watch out for them, my first mind, my first thought is kind of rejection because it's like, why are of you course, thinking that? Of course, of so course. How was, how did that start, and how did that, I guess, um, matriculate to the point of you trusting that discernment and not rejecting it? After it happened so many times, so I say about the third time that he told me about this, these different people, I'm like, okay, I need to bring you with me because everybody you see, you're gonna let me know. Like he just got that eye, but for me, um, when I got into the crafting business and I started coaching. Like I told you before, I started bringing people in my community up with me because I'm like, yo, you've never coached, so let me train you how to be a coach. But instead of them coming up with me to be a coach in their lane, hey, I'm bringing you up to teach Photoshop. I'm bringing you up to teach Shopify. Not what I teach. Now they coming up and seeing what I'm making. Now I'm finna overpower you. I want to step on your toes. I want to be a you. Mm. So I'm finna go behind your back and create the same program you got. And now I'm finna come in your group and try to steal your people. Mm. And now if we don't work out, I'm finna go on Instagram and YouTube bashing your name. Even though I've been up under you, you don't help me make 20, 30, 40,000. But since I haven't gotten to your level and I couldn't be a you, I'm finna bash you. And everybody that did that, he said they was gonna do it. He said, watch out for that one. Pause. Um, I think... You oh, know, my bro. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I no, don't know how long one. that was, but <laughs> damn, I should have been saying, I'm sorry. I know, like, people just, We might can edit it to where, I don't know. Ain't no editing a video. We can cross, <laughs> we can cross, we can, we can go back. <laughs> Whatever. All okay. right, so, um, let's go back. All right. That, 
it, I always say the same thing. Like, I, I don't ever want nobody that's worked with me that, it's going to sound crazy, that want to be on camera a little bit. I say that because I think we all can be Jordan. Right. Like, if you want to be a cameraman, you could be Michael Jordan that being a cameraman. I don't want to be a cameraman. That's true. Like, if you want to be a producer or a light engine, whatever, I don't want to be that. That's true. I just want to be talent. That's I true. I can teach you how to help you do that, but I don't want to be it. So I would never get jealous of you. I'm never going to want your spot. If, and if you love what you do, you're never going to want my spot. You're yeah. never going to get jealous of me. And I think that's the perfect team. I don't know where it happens where, like, you build these teams and they start wanting to do one thing. Because and then, they're Michael Jordan at whatever they're good at ain't making the money your Michael Jordan is. And if their goal is, I'm trying to get to your level, but you got me working behind the camera and doing all these little tidbits, but you the talent and you get to this level, you getting cars, houses, you getting these friends. I want to be a you. But so. you can, though. Like, nigga, you t start a master class <laughs> of how to be a cameraman. <laughs> you, like, you, you can start a master class of how to be a cameraman. You could tell people what cameras to get. You could, like, you could do the same thing. I wish it was that easy. It's not. No. Why I've you don't been think through so? It. I, I literally been through it. Because then they would, so, like, from my experience, they will start their program that's exactly like mine. And they might even sell it for cheaper. But then they don't know how I run my back end. So they don't know that I'm running advertisement, pay ads, emails, doing SMS, going live. They looking at it from the front end like, oh, she just started class and I'm finna just post it on social media and make money. But then when they see why it's not working as fast as hers, not even knowing she been in the game over four years, I just started 30 days ago. Why? And that's where the jealousy come in at. Because they like want to get there overnight. Mm -hmm. And here you are enjoying all the fruits of your label. Why I got to wait four years? Don't you supposed to help me get there faster? <laughs> do, do Ain't you, it your job to help me get there faster? Do you know how powerful you are? Yes, of course. That's curious. I, it's funny we just having this conversation. And like, in my mind, like I overlook those things because for me, like I do this, not trying to brag, I swear. Now I could do all this shit with my eyes closed by myself, yeah. respectfully, right? Yeah. I love my team, like respectfully, right? And I was working with somebody and like, it's getting frustrating because I got to keep telling them how to do it, which way to do it, how, why to do it. Like, and it's frustrating because like, bro, just get it. And I was just telling my guy, I'm like, I need this because it shows me how to teach, mm. right? One. And then two, it shows me how valuable or how important what I'm doing is. Because yeah. sometimes I overlook myself because I, I, don't, I don't see it as that powerful because it's me, it's like, it's just that. Yeah. Like, the way I post a video, how I post a video, why I post it like this, it, like, for me, but those are the things that help me get viral clips, help me get big guests, all of that, right? Right. Whereas though somebody else, they want to, they want, they they see a spot, they want to do it, but they don't even understand. The back end. They don't the even have a clue. Sleep is nice. <laughs> like, the sacrifices, get, no. Like, it's like, even something as small as you come in like, oh, you did your research, this is the first time. And for me, I'm like, huh? Like, that don't even make sense. Like, really? It, like, why wouldn't I? Like, that's just... It, it's clockwork. It comes with the territory. Wow. Even if it's 30 minutes, it's, you have to know who you're talking to. Like it's, it's, it's just, That's why you need to start a podcast training program because a lot of podcasts, I'm telling you, don't know to do that. So the fact that you're saying, I know to do that just off the top of my head, they ain't go through the proper training. So mm. that's something I feel like when you start it, if you start it, that need to be like in module one. Researching your guests and knowing... Like 50, 20, 30. Something, Something. goddamn, like Google, nigga, like, thing. Shit. yeah. Like, just who am I talking to? Who is like just, maybe because I'm, I'm a curious person though. Because like even with you, I'm, like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. I'm like, okay, Cassandra. Okay, she do crafting. She looks at Instagram. I'm curious why she got so many followers. <laughs> I don't trust it. I, I don't trust it. Really? So, no. So I go to YouTube, and I'm like, oh. This shit is real. Oh, I said, okay. I said, I said, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, why do she got so many views on talking about how to cry? I'm like, and I'm like, okay, cool, 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 hold on, hold on. That could be fake. I go to comments. Niggas is talking. I'm like, all right. <laughs> am, I, am I lying? I'm not telling no lie. I'm giving you real Really? Time. But that's because I'm just curious, though. Right, like, right, that's right. why I do interviews. I'm, I'm really just, I be like, yo, why? Why? I don't understand. I don't right. believe it. You, you know thought what it was about followers. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, like you do crafting. I'm like, I never seen nobody. Oh, <laughs> wow. And that's crazy because everybody say that, oh, you a crafter. They don't even know we get to the bag over here in this industry. Like, don't don't underestimate the crafters now. Damn, <laughs> son. This is dope. So the, the relationship is flourishing. Yes. Ever since you went back, the business is flourishing. Yes. What are some things that's going wrong? 
teams. <sighs> Retention so or you, getting them? Huh? Retention or just building them? Building. Because when you get to the next level, you now you can't really do it by yourself. You want to start hiring people that that's their expertise. Like as a crafter, they want to send out emails, pack the boxes, ship. They want to do everything. When you start building and you start getting to that next level, you got to bring on an email team, mm -hmm. a copywriter, a ads team. Like these are people that that's their expertise and they're going to help you get there a lot faster. So is it finding them or keeping them though? I would say both. Because yeah, if you don't do your research when you're finding people, even when they, like I said, um, like a lot of the problems that I've been having is they'll tell me is this one price, that this is how much I'm going to charge you to do this. But then when I start seeing how much money you're making, oh, okay, let me up my prices. Let me. So now I can't even keep them because you're nitpicking me. Like, but this is the price that you've been charging me. Why you count my pockets? You don't know my overhead. You don't know my payroll. But you feel like, oh. You treat me like Walmart. <laughs> I get it. That's what they do. Really? Shit, I do the same thing. <laughs> Walmart do not get the same price as the small entrepreneur. Yeah. But that's how they do. They like yeah. you start counting your pockets, like, oh, yeah. she got it. My mm -hmm. budget is this now. Yeah. This is how much it costs now. You know damn well you don't charge that damn exactly. much. Exactly. You only charging me that because of who I am. Like I even had like people I say, hey, um, can you make a design for me? On your website, your design might be $35, but to me it's $2,000. Mm. Why am I paying $2,000 for a design that's on your website for $35? So is it, this is my price of who I am? So you're running to that a lot. Like, I get that a lot. Yo, you know you remind me of? I hope, I know I'm not, in interviewing, if you're watching this, you ne never do this. <laughs> never do this. But she's so dope, so hopefully it's a good comparison. You remind me of Tarek Lynn Smith. I don't know if you know who that is. Tara Colleen. She's a uh, like a um, real estate guru. Okay. Story fire. One of the Terica, yeah. Oh my, we, yeah, bro, Terica. One of the best stories ever. Like really? crazy. And like her energy is just phenomenal. Yeah. So I'm talking to you. I'm like, yo, you like everything is on par. Like it is the relationship, the story, the yeah. business. Like most most importantly, the business. Yeah. But like everything that come with it. And it's yeah. like that's that's how does it feel being a woman at the top doing this though? I look, I wake up every day and pinch myself like, cause I even thought that I was a COVID business, that I had a COVID community, that when COVID's over, everybody's going back to work, they're gonna fall off. But to see the business doubling, tripling, it's like me, little me from McCray, little me that dropped out of 12th grade, little me that had two kids by the age of 18, like everything that the society tells you, you won't be nothing because of what you did before. So now I'm I'm like really setting the bar high. Like you can do it too. Mm. If I was able to, not saying I ain't gonna never go back and get my GED, but I ain't got it yet, and I'm still. So it's like don't let like the things that people are telling you why you can't be nothing. That's what's holding you back. Don't listen to them. Mm. You got to tell yourself like you just said. No, do you know you're powerful? You got to tell yourself that the girl. Do you know you're powerful? Do you know who you are? And like just block all the outside noise. And yeah, get it. Did you always think that? Like, when was the no. wake up moment? When was the moment when you was like, oh, bitch, you go, girl. <laughs> like, when, when was that moment? I will tell you the truth. It was joining mentorship. When I changed my circle and I got around other seven-figure entrepreneurs, other six-figure entrepreneurs, eight-figure entrepreneurs, they don't talk small-minded like mm. the people that I came up with. So just getting in these rooms, paying for these mentorships to be like, yo, if you think like that, I can think like that too. If you do it, I can do it too. So just... You know, getting into these rooms and just getting around other people that's in your, you know, doing what you're doing. Because everybody else is not going to understand. Like I said, sometimes if you're talking to other people, they're going to feel like you bragging. Mm. Oh, I ain't doing it like that. So why you got to... But when you get around other people like you, they be like, yes, girl, what's next? What we doing next? What's going mm. on? And you be like, oh, I can do it. Mm. And it makes you... I'm a, I tell you all the time, I'm a mastermind junkie. I done got into like 12 masterminds. I'm going to probably drop like 10 of them by next year. But I just love getting in rooms with other people. See, that, that go that bragging shit again. <laughs> the audience ain't catch it. <laughs> I caught it. She said 12 max. Because y'all niggas don't know how much this shit cost. <laughs> she said, I look at it. It's personal development. <laughs> no, thanks, like, thanks. if you willing to... Like, before I got into masterminds, I used to spend my money, like, on cars, Chanel bags, like, looking fly. The best fly. investment is self-investment. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm paying other people... Whatever level they on, let me pick your brain. But the only way I can pick your brain is if I pay with you or whatever you want. Mm. So now I'm researching people just like you do. I joined Myron Golden's program. I joined Neo's program. Like I'm people that's already at a level I want to go to. That's where my investment's going in at. Mm. Now I'm not spending it on 
you know, name brands. I don't care about that. I want to spend it on people and get in their head. You still pulled up in something nice. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You might have to get a toy here or there. I'm just, I'm just saying. We don't got to tell them. But it, it's just, yo, this is truly dope. This is incredible. Yo, let me ask you this then, because I know um, when it comes to these programs, even yours, when we call it some of the mastermind, again, as somebody that don't know no better, the first thing I think about is I need the top, I need the highest program so I can get the most, mm -mm. right? And that's not true. No. How do we know when it's time to graduate? When you don't major return back on your investment from the load. So that's what I tell my students. Invest in my smaller tier program, go through that. When you don't made that back, okay, now let's go to the next level. When you made that back, but if you joining my lowest program and you ain't even still figuring out how to get your return back, how to market, like you still need help in that area. But if you get to the top program and you don't make your money back, you're going to start blaming the mentorship. You're going to start blaming the coach. Oh, they not doing what they say they want to do. It ain't them, it's you because you try to get to that level faster than you should have. So I would say when you start at the, start at the level that you can afford – and you see how easy it is for you to make that return, then you know, okay. Because that's how I knew. I would have never joined these type of programs back when I first started. Like, I just started making money. Let me figure out how to manage it, where to put it at. Let me get team. Let me get systems. Let me, all of these different things. Okay, now I got some extra money. Let me invest it into these mentorships and then the next mentorship. So mm. I would say once you make that return back on your investment from the first, whatever you join, then you know, okay, I'm ready. And then you not just, you know, paying for it, but actually putting the action behind it. You seeing the results because you doing everything. You you putting in the work. So when you say, okay, yeah, you'll know. I mean, you'll know. Mm. You ain't finna just go out there spending that kind of money. You ain't even some made money. Some people on, be, you be what? surprised, bro. Like some some people, even like when it comes to buying things, like I'm going to buy the most expensive thing because I just think it's going to last longer. I'm going to buy the most expensive thing because I think it's the best quality. Mm. So when it comes to mentorship, I would assume that mine go the same way. Mm -mm. I ain't going to get the beginner. I want that. I want to be her. So I'm going to get the 12000 so I can be her. Mm -hmm. Hotel, you missed so many steps. Wow. Mm -hmm. But that's why I share my story of where I started. I never say I started out making millions of dollars. I never start there. I tell my story of being in a hotel. Just like you tell me, you were like, yo, I heard you was in a hotel. You couldn't afford your kids' hoodies. I always tell that because I want them to know where I started, and this is how I got here so y'all can see my journey. Mm. Yo, how long have we been doing this? Hour. Oh, right, that's cool. it. No, 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 no. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> He's like, right. hold on, hold on. We need to give away some money. I told you. Okay. If they watch this for an hour, they deserve this. I agree. I need this ain't for everybody though. Just because it's so phenomenal. And that's my first time ever doing this. We gotta give three women. Three women. Okay. Black women. Oh, sorry. I like that. I like that. I, you could I don't care. Sue me. Sue <laughs> 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 me. Three black women. An opportunity. To go from what you say is 179, 199, then three what? 349. They gotta go through three of your courses. Three women. Okay. I told you I was gonna actually get some money. I like, you that. I like, like that. Like they gotta go through the first one first for free. Okay. Go through the first one, graduate. The only way they graduate is if they're making more than 149 a month. A month. Right. 179. 179 a month. Right. Right. So they gotta graduate. Okay. This is on them. I agree. It's three. 179, 199, 349. Can we do that? Of course. I'm do that. Make it six. Si <laughs> you grow my community because once they come, they stuck. So thank you. You know All what right, I'm saying? six. So if you've been watching, it's an hour. So I mean, listen, like, <laughs> ain't nobody listen to this for an hour. But if it's you, <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah. But you got to, um, let's say, go on to one of our, we're going to do collab posts, three collab posts. Okay. Go on to uh, one of the posts. Um... Tell us your story. What you mean? Which, like, tell, like, how we, how, how can they, we want to make them do something. They got to do something. I was going to say comment under the post your story. Tell them you're trying to get into the the three um, programs. I like that. Yes, tell us your story. And we, it should be the only, it sh we should get comments that's telling the story. So we're going to know what you want to do. I agree. I like that. Six. And I can read through the comment. Ooh, that'd be dope. Mm, th six black women. No. Uh-oh. I want to do, because I was telling you, I told you my story. Let's do it. I want to hear from women that were single parents, mm. that maybe didn't make it out of high school, 
that maybe um now we closing it down. Yeah, shit. that maybe these people had, are they doing good now. <laughs> shit, but go ahead. I don't know now. It, it's some people out there that nobody's giving them opportunities because everybody feel like oh she done made it already. Like no, mm. you you probably still so can we can we keep it open right? Okay, but you know what you're looking for. Yeah, right. And then let me read through the yeah you can read I like through that. it. So like if still right you that might that might not be you. You might be a hustler. And you might really want this thing. You might get chosen. Write your story. I like that. Six black women. Six black women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, look, we trying we trying to change lives around. Yes, here. this is dope. How important is that to you, though? Very. Why? Like, cause I don't know. I told you my story. Like, just trying to learn from somebody that was already in the game and she not wanting to share information. Like, I promise myself, anybody else that wants to learn how to do exactly what it is that I do, I'm not withholding any information. Now, I might charge a small fee, but I'm going to teach you what I know and it's your it's, it's your place to want to get to that next level. But I'm never going to gatekeep. Your story is so special. I want to know more about you, right? I never ask these type of questions. It's simple. I, just, okay, I, okay. I like. I, I'm one of them people that skip like the small things, go straight and to go it. straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd be the small things you can learn a lot from somebody. I'm gonna ask you this: If you could give a piece of advice to somebody who's going on a similar journey as you, right? That 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 trying to start their own business before we even get to subscription, or if that could, if, right. if that's it, right. what would the advice be, and why? Never take no for an answer, because. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just always go back to that because that person telling me no made me go find a yes. Mm. A lot of people hear no and feel like that's it. That might not be your door. Mm. So if somebody tell you no, okay, keep trying till you get a yes. Don't keep, like, don't stop. So just keep going and never take no for an answer. Keep going until you find your yes. Even in moments where it gets annoying, because that can be discouraging. Of course. Because somebody say no and I keep asking, I keep asking. Now I'm a pest. Now nobody want to work with me. Okay, find your community or build your own table. That's what I did. Sheesh. <laughs> Not for real. I had a lot of no's. And when I built the people that loved me for me, that resonated with me, all of them give me yeses now. I'm going to add to that. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm a little like off the rocker. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Because I did it myself. Really? So I don't care about none of y'all. Like none of them. None of them. Because everybody told me no. Literally. Really? What? Well, I got DMs to this day. I was trying to get people that be like, ignore me, all that. And what I was going to say is, it's funny how, like, they criticize you so much in the beginning. Mm. And you don't change. And they be the same people saying, Can Yo, you? <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can you hiring? Bro. Oh, you got? What? Yo, can I be on it? No. Can we collaborate? No. What? Or not even that, right? Like, it'll be like people criticize how you do things, right? And it's something that I don't like. And then they come back, give you backhanded compliments. And I'm going to show you what, what one is. Some people might not think it's a backhanded compliment, but I see through it. They be like, bro, you know why I love Jay? Why you love Jay, bro? Man, because he did it his way. I'm not trying none of that. Don't come and say that about me. You know why? Because when I was doing it my way and I was asking for help, you you thought you should, you told me I should do it another way. Oh. I don't like that. I, I, that's one of my biggest yeah. pet peeves. Because it's like, yo, you doing it. People will be like, yo, you should, you, you should do. And I'm like, no, I want to do I it this way. I want to do it my way. I do it my way. And then the same people that was criticizing me, like, yo, bro, I love you, bro. Like, you really <laughs> stuck to your guns. You did it your way. <laughs> Man, you don't get the... F <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry, you call Eric and whatever. Yep. I don't want to hear it. No, you got a right to feel like that. Mm-mm-mm. Because look at you now. Blessed. Blessed. God blessed. did. And did. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo, so, okay. Do you want to talk about the mastermind? Like, I know we're not going to sell, but, like, I mean, like, like. So, yeah, yeah Let's just get to it. We got to go back to business. Come yeah. On. Mastermind. Tell me, what's, what's going on? So, we have a mastermind. Uh, well, not a mastermind. We have a challenge, challenge. coming up in October. Um, basically, where we're going to show you how to take your skill. Um, it's basically for creators, crafters, hobbyists, but really whatever you do, because you you do podcasts and you was able to get a lot of gems from this. Mm. So you can still um, join the um, actual challenge, learn how to take your skill, build community around it, and then turn it into a subscription paid program. So I'm going to show up and do what I do best, go live for free. You can tell me from them free lives, oh my gosh, I need to be in her five-day challenge because she gave so much game for free. I got five notebooks full. And when you join the five-day challenge from there, 
you can decide if you want to continue working with me, learning from me. And yeah. Are you accepting everybody? Inside of the challenge. Free class, yeah. And inside okay. of the challenge, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause the first thing I'm thinking about like is like first of all, this whole promo run that you're about to do is full of shit. Because <laughs> you got this, you got a community fucking fifteen hundred people. You don't need nobody. Like, why like what what's the point of it? Like you need more like I don't Help me. So I don't. I need don't more, believe you. Let me tell you. Tell me. I don't need more people. Right. But the offer that I'm making now, I've never made this offer before. And someone told me you probably got people in your community right now that want to go to the next level with you, but because you're selling them these 179 programs, 199, they don't know what else you got to offer. They want to learn more. And I seen that when I went to a mastermind event, and about 20 of my students were there, and I'm like, how did y'all pay to get over here? Because they was giving money to my coaches because mm. I haven't offered nothing that's more of what they need. So that's what I said. Oh, my gosh. I got to hey, do it. I'm going to ask you. I don't care. <laughs> if we had an hour plus in, they deserve it by now. What is it? What really that you got more? What, what more is it? Give me some. You know how to give me all of it. Give me some. So the more is, like I said. Don't I, hold back. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you. All right. So what I teach now in the 179, 199, 349. I teach you how to craft, so you got to first learn a skill. So if you never made a T-shirt, never made a banner, you never made any type of craft, that's going to be your first step. Let us figure out what your skill is. From there, I want to teach you how to turn that skill into digital products, because that's where we're at right now. You can't just be like, oh, I want to sell T-shirts all my life. You got to figure out how can I take what I use for T-shirts that's digital mm -hmm. and sell it to other people like me. From there, you got to figure out, okay, the people that's buying digital from me, now they want me to teach them a class. How much do I charge? Now they want a membership. How much do I charge? Now they want me to, now I'm trying to figure out how do I get people in this membership every single month to where I can take three-month breaks. That's what I'm teaching at that next level. Mm. So in the beginning, I'm only teaching you the basics, craft and digital products. But when you say, I want to be a you, come on and follow me. Mm. So that's the more. Oh, so I'm teaching how to be me. I'm teaching you how so to be me. So you ain't got to fake it and try to work for me and then try to steal then my try shit. To, oh. Just pay. I'm going to show you how to be me. Fuck it. Just, just, this deserves just, a snap. <laughs> just pull up, bro. <laughs> and you ain't got to try to finesse you your way in. Like, I'm going to show you the them. whole blueprint. Yeah, like, don't try to be my friend. Now I can have real Ooh. friends. Like, just, just, just stay over. It's okay. It's just pay. It's okay. I don't need you to be my friend. Just be a client. Be that's, a client. Oh, my God. You just, that's it. That's okay. it. You just broke it down. Okay. Okay. That's the more. This is good, man. What did we miss? I, it's so much. I think we got everything. Nah, it's so oh, much. Oh, we didn't say the website at the end. Say for them to <laughs> Oh, this is live? Yeah. I mean, it's not live. But oh, like, okay, okay, okay. But like, um, So the way you can join the challenge coming up in October is by going to passiontoprofitschallenge.com. I'm going to show you how to take your tell passion. Them. Oh, right here? Yeah, okay. So the way you can join the October challenge is by joining, signing up at passiontoprofitschallenge.com. Uh, I'm not going to spell it out because I hope y'all can just have it running across the screen. I probably won't do well, that, okay. but it's okay. Hopefully they're not a speller shit. But like, it's a two instead of a two. So, so let me spell so it. tell them. So passion to profits challenge .com. You spell it passion, the number two, profits with a S, challenge.com. And just for you, I might put it up there. I don't be doing all that Thank shit. Thank you. But I might put CJ, it up there. look, I, I knew might, we had it. I might do that, I man. I we was like, here. We was here. Yo, this, this wait, was really good. Nah, this is good, but I... I'm going to tell you right now, he was one of my favorite. I don't know about y'all, but this is one of my favorite podcasts. Oh, thank you and so much. And I don't been on about five. But wait. Down to earth, knew the questions to ask. We didn't even give you a script. Like, you literally knew. You did your research. That was a plus when you could tell me my story. That means you paid attention. Thank so, you so much. I'm definitely going to refer more people. But I just want to, we ain't even done. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, go ahead. Do your thing. So, you about to, how, how, how far along are you? I'm four months. And I just found that out two days ago. I didn't even know I was pregnant. Congratulations, Juan. Thank you. Thank you. The, the um, mastermind, am I saying it right? Yeah. Class, mastermind challenge. challenge. Yeah. Is in October. Yes. So you're going to be like, what, six? For, uh, six or seven. You ready for that? I work from home. All you need is a laptop. You don't have to be nowhere physically. You ain't got to go in no warehouse. But you know you had two kids. And that I was young. That was a long... <laughs> so you know it's about to be different now. I, I just had a baby in November. You did. So it's just right... right yeah, right, I, yeah. Right. And yeah. I literally last year made the most I ever made on bed rest from a laptop. How was that? How, how, how was your, your husband relationship when you was pregnant? Oh, he was very, like, supportive. Like, literally, Word. I don't have to do nothing. That's why I told him. 
I just need you to be supportive. I don't need you to try to go make more money than me. It's not going to happen. I just need... <laughs> I just... <laughs> No, not not saying, not saying hey, like Hey, no, nah, what's your husband at? Wait, Yo, no. you better Yo, take our class wait. and level up on I, her ass. No, I'm saying it in a good way. He don't have to. I'm supporting him because he's supporting me. Okay. So I don't want us to both be trying to do this million-dollar business. Who's going to be here with the kids? I need mm. him to be a dad at home to help me raise my children. That's that's what I wanted when I started making money, a family that I could start over and raise and fit, really fully be there. So by him, me going back to get him and him accepting to come back and giving me my two kids, I just want him to be comfortable, be a stay-at-home dad, and support you. So, so, so wait, wait, wait. You ain't, my, you ain't making being, all this I money. Mean. You pregnant, all these emotions, and you don't be snappy. You don't be like of you. Of course. Like, let me tell you something. She can tell you, of course, but he's the only one that can handle it. He was with me when we was kids. So I knew, like, the attitude I have, especially with me being pregnant, the emotions, he's the only one that can handle it. My mom used to always say, whoever handled you, I'm a Virgo. Mm. So she's like, whoever can handle you, you're going to have to have a strong mindset. That's what he has. That's what I love about him. Because anybody else would have been like, oh, What's no. his sign? His sign? Yeah. A cancer. So he's very, he's emotional by nature, yeah. which is something I don't have. So it's like yin to yang. What's your sign? Oh, he might be a Scorpio. Oh! <laughs> what? Was... Oh, okay. Because I'm like, why are you scared I just got say? a thing with like. When your birthday? No, nah, I'm, a, I'm a Gemini. Oh. But. We're going to end this right. Look, we ain't even. I love Virgos though. You do? Yeah, I feel like I be so serious. I feel like Virgos from from my, I love hate Virgos, but I feel like Virgos are super uh like kitty, like joking, like oh, of course. And I'm like, I can joke a lot, but I have a what lot of moments I'm serious. I be serious. Like, I was gonna I be say, like, what about the other personality? I be locked in. Like I don't, I'm not trying to have fun. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. Like I ain't, we ain't having fun. We working we all working. day. But like my Virgo friends, they be so just like jolly and it's like, yeah. it, it, it brings the kid out of me. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like, that's what I love about it. But the part I don't like, Virgos, from my experience, be super pushy. Like you got to do everything they did. Like, bro, like one of my best friends is like a Virgo. He's like, like, like he's getting to it though. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like he, he get to it. Real estate. Yeah. But he thinks that like, because he did it and that's good. Don't get me wrong. We but he try to force it. And that's fine. But he try to be forceful in it though. Like, Yo, it's like, bro, I can, let me do it at my time. Like, the no. more you push me, the more I don't want to do it. Because we see something in you that you probably don't even see in yourself. But the more you push me, the more I don't want to do it. Really? It's just if people. you see it's working for him, and you probably telling him, like, I'm trying to get to this level, and he know how you can get there, you really saying that he's pushing you to get there, and you like, I want to do it on my time. We don't have time. Because every <laughs> situation isn't the same, right? So I'm not going to. I just give this my, is good. Like, like, so, like for example, right? Let's say, I don't know, you you're single, okay? Right? It's certain things you can do that a person with a a partner can't right, do. Can't. Let's say, I don't know, you haven't had kids yet. Is there certain things you can do? Mm. With a, so it's like when you keep trying to push and push yeah. instead of being understanding. If you put it like that, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I feel like that's what I get from him a lot. It's like, but I, should I, he's super motivating though. Like I love Very. it. Very. Like, but he's my best friend. So it's like, and that's what I've learned from Virgos. Like I just like I, I don't have no. It's with Virgos. Yeah. Scorpios, it be, it be like yin and yang for me. <laughs> you feel me? But what about Pisces? I think, um, I hate that I did this. Don't judge me. If y'all do, I don't care. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, but <clears throat> I, uh, I wrote this down. It's probably not. So my top three most compatible is Aquarius, Libra, and Aries. <clears throat> Aquarius, Libra, and Aries. Yeah, I don't know why. I I looked into it. I ain't finished. But I I'm trying to see the the similarity in those three. They are all kind of different. What is it? They went. Yeah, they kind of closed off. Maybe I me I'm like super like friendly. I'm like outgoing. I'm like I'm go. I'm what am I? Air sign? I think. I I, I that makes sense. That would yeah. make sense. And I yeah. think that's all water signs. I don't know, man. <laughs> I try. I try to figure yeah. this shit out, but I don't know. But now that's dope that you got somebody that can like handle all of those emotions. Yeah. Because mm, okay, so I like, I don't really talk about this publicly, but okay. like I 
I'm married, right? <clears throat> oh. And me and my, uh, yeah, yeah. So, but we like, you know. Yeah. And I think I, the one thing, if I could be better, or if I could have been better, was handling all of the emotions. Mm. I'm like, the, I'm terrible with that. So when I hear like, your really? husband's like admirable because it's like the fact that you can handle this big personality. Yeah. Like for me, it's like, bro, I'm trying to handle this business. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, I ain't got time for that. Oh, yeah. You feel me? So it's like, that's admirable. Yeah. And I was, it was always like that though. It seemed yeah. Like. So you just found somebody. So the relationship advice is find somebody who meshes with who you are. Exactly. Don't try to change somebody. No. And see, I, yeah, definitely can't change them. Mm. But everybody's not going to be perfect. Like, he might not have this, but he's good at this. So you got to find, you got to pull those things out yeah. that's perfect for you, not perfect in the world's eyes. Because on the outside looking in, they're going to be like, yo, hey, we need to be working. He need to be making more than you. Why you? It don't matter but about to that. Me, we good. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. yeah, you can't let the outside people determine, like, what your relationship going to be like. That's fire, bro. Yeah. Hey, we got some relationship advice. We got business <laughs> advice. We got life advice. <laughs> Crap shit. advice. You all learned about t-shirts, everything. Yo, this was good, man. Yeah, For the was. people that don't know, let them know how to follow you. Y'all definitely uh, make sure y'all follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, Crapping with Cassandra. This was good, man. This is one of them. What? Cassandra, you guys. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. It's a wrap. We out. Let's get it. Oh, this was good. Man, that was good, man. I'm this was my favorite it. podcast. Oh, oh, man. Thank you. Thank you.